Hello, Good on the Ground. We are here with Mr. Joe Souza of Kanilea Ukuleles. How are you, Joe? Very good, Audrey. Happy New Year. Happy 2016, New Year. Nam. Beautiful. What do we got? Exciting, <laughs> as always. You know, for Kanilea Ukulele, and this being an incredible year for us, of course, with some new and exciting things ahead of us, things that are really going to make a difference. So for this year, what we're introducing is our new Willie K model. Willie K model. Yes. And with the Willie K model, we did several unique things, things that we've oh. never done on any instrument ever. Mm. So with the Willie K model, we actually did a very intricate rosette. It's a wow. five string, actually. So I'll go over the details. It's a five string super tenor with a 19 inch scale. Uh -huh. But the rosette inlay that we did on his instrument, including his Maui Tribe, mm. which is really his signature production company, we included his Maui Tribe inlay as the rosette. We also have his signature here at the 12th fret. It's a Cobra slotted headstock, five string, so it has a double G, high, low G. It's got a bevel done out of ebony and also an armrest that we did out of ebony. Nice. I mean, this instrument is just gorgeous, and above all, the sound. Oh, Unbelievable. Nice, and that's like that signature sound that he has, yeah? Yeah. With that low G, high G action going on. Exactly. Love it, love yeah. it. You know, so this is something that's new and exciting, of course, for well, Kanilea. For this, I've noticed that you guys changed the Cobra slotted headstock a little bit. You made it a little bit longer to uh, to fit in that third um, that third tuning peg in there. Absolutely, cool. good observation. Yeah, you know, subtle changes in the headstock just so we could accommodate and actually offer mm -hmm. as a five string. So really, with the Cobra slotted five string, uh -huh. and in this case on Willie's model, mm -hmm. that's also something that is nice. new. So perfect, good observation. Perfect. Something that's also new is we did our UV silk, and this is something that we introduced actually oh, back in 2014. People should be familiar with this ukulele because this is actually ukulele underground ukulele. This exactly. Right yeah, this, this is the model. This is the model that right. I used to teach here in ukulele underground. That's it. And this UV silk, what's new about it is we have a new finish that we created. Nice. And it's actually a little bit more wear resistant, a little bit more player friendly. It doesn't necessarily smudge as easily, mm -hmm. but it still is very thin, protects the instrument, and of right. course allows for resonance and allows right. for sound, right. which is what we're really trying to target with the new UV silk. Great, let's hear it. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Really nice, classic, bright, tenor, kanilea sound. Mm. Now something else that's new for 2016, and it's something that we've now introduced in 2015 and bringing it over to 2016 okay. as something okay. new, See what you're is doing there. <laughs> our 2016 Platinum model. Platinum. Yes, and the Platinum, we took out all the stops. Oh, okay. We right. just went ballistic no and breaks. just made an no instrument breaks. that is incredible. <laughs> All, In this all case, gas, no breaks. All right. All right, <laughs> yeah. look at this. Beautiful curly coil, premium curly coil body. Mm -hmm. We did a very unique inlay with something very interesting that we found and we have huh. kind of coined as Mars Rosewood. Mars and we started Rosewood. to bring it in on this instrument. Yes, oh this goodness. Mars Rosewood. So we did an inlay and the reds and the brilliance of this Mars Rosewood is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So we did a Mars Rosewood inlay rosette trimmed in curly maple. We did a Mars Rosewood relief with a bevel, a Mars Rosewood armrest. Mm. So it makes that nice edge for the player and the comfort of that, that mm. nice softened edge. Mm. And then brought that rosewood all the way through the fingerboard and even up onto the headstock. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank you. And then we did a nice white mother of pearl inlay, not only for the logo, but for all the position markers. Mm. And it actually, we brought in some of the curly maple as the binding. So we did a curly maple binding, which is Beautiful. something very unique for Kanilea. Beautiful. Yeah, just so, the color, man. It's, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so like I said, we really took out all the stops for our 2016 Platinum, something that's totally unique and something that really makes Kanilea special. Perfect. Which now, of course, leads into what we feel as something that's been so important and something that we stood by for so many years. Mm. And this is something that 
we as Kanileo Ukulele and how we look at the future and the sustainability of not only us as an ukulele company, but really us as stewards, as people who should be caring for our land or our aina. What we've introduced this year is our Maoli No. And what is so unique about our Maoli No is this instrument is built entirely of native Hawaiian hardwoods. Really? Indigenous Hawaiian hardwoods. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and with this instrument, what we're really trying to do and make a big stance is our commitment to our environment mm. with this instrument. Because what this instrument represents is not only the first all Hawaiian hardwood ukulele, but it's also the first carbon neutral, forest friendly ukulele. Uh, can you give us you know, an example of what that means? Absolutely. Yeah, for those so, people who are interested. Carbon neutral, and what we see as something that's very important is, for us to build this instrument, inevitably, there was some carbon that was created. Yeah, we have to resources. turn on the light switch. Right. We have to actually get the wood from the forest to our shop. And all those little subtleties in getting that wood and building the instrument, we have now are able to offset the carbon that was created through our reforestation efforts. Nice. So it is truly a unique instrument because what we're doing as Kanilea, not only in this instrument mm -hmm. with the beautiful inlays of Heali'i Ka'aina Heka'ua Kekanaka, which, which means? actually means the land is our chief, we are its servants. Beautiful. And it's a Hawaiian proverb beautiful. that really is a reflection of who we are as Kanilea. And what does uh, Maoli know? Maoli means... Yeah. <laughs> truly Hawaiian. Truly Hawaiian. So that is exactly what this instrument is. All of the wood, all of the subtleties of this instrument, with the exception of, of course, the strings, the nut, the saddle, the tuning keys, but all of the wood that's involved on the instrument is actually native. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can we hear Thank it? you. Oh, yeah, we can hear it. Huge sound, it's, Isn't it's it? big. Yeah, big sound. Big sound from a small instrument. Mm. So, what kind of what kinds of woods did you use for each of each part? So, for the body, we used, our, of course, our prized koa wood. Mm -hmm. We have a koa wood front, back, and sides. Mm -hmm. For the fingerboard and bridge, we use a native wood called ohia lehua. Mm -hmm. Many people know it as ohia. Ohia, ohia is actually a very hard wood. Mm -hmm and it takes the wear and tear or the playability of the instrument and the, over the life of the instrument, the wear and tear, it takes it really, really well. We also included the ohia as the binding, oh. which was very unique. And the reason why we wouldn't use the ohia is because of its density and the way that it can protect the edge of the instrument, just in case if it catches the corner of a table or anything. But most interestingly is on the inside of the instrument, all of the bracing is iliahi or mm. Hawaiian sandalwood. I was just about to ask, yeah. Yeah, and the Hawaiian sandalwood, of course, has always been treasured because of its medicinal purposes. Right. Right. But in this case, we've used the, the iliahi as the bracing because it still has elasticity. It still allowed us to get great sound, uh -huh. yet it protected and added strength to the instrument as the internal bracing. Uh -huh. It also has a scent because of that, that classic sandal, yeah, sandalwood sand smell. smell right. Yeah, so that scent is actually, you know, coming right from the instrument. Oh, just. It's unbelievable. Love it. Love As it. you strum, you'll smell it. Incredible. Anyway, the Maoli no, and really who we are as Kanilea, we have found it to be very important to really take on our responsibility, or as Hawaiians, right. our kuleana. As human beings. Yeah. As human beings, yeah, right. right. And that's why we are actively involved, not only in conservation, but with reforestation. And this instrument represents our efforts. Perfect, perfect, mm -hmm. beautiful. So Thank uh, you. is there anything you on the Islander end? There is a few instruments that we're introducing on the Islanders. You know, Islander has been so well received by the ukulele community. And quite honestly, the line has grown with so many options and yeah. so many beautiful instruments. In such a short time. It has, yeah, yeah in such a short time. We're actually, introducing the newly designed guitars oh, perfect. that is going to be an addition to the Islander ukulele line. Mm -hmm. So we also have our new Islander guitars cool. as part of the addition. <laughs> right on. So yeah. um, if I was a brand new player coming up and just you know learning the ukulele, which ukulele would you recommend? You know, I think 
as a introduced new to the instrument, new uh -huh. to the ukulele, I think our acacia tenor four string, uh -huh. it's a beautiful instrument. Mm -hmm. Even the mahogany tenor four string, so right. our AT4 uh -huh. and our MT4 from the Islanders, yeah. great entry level, great yeah. sounding, great playing instruments. If we look at our Kanilea line, can't go wrong with a nice, beautiful K1, of course, of course. or a UV <laughs> silk, or a K2, K3, <laughs> K4, which of course has been our flagship instrument for so many years. But with all the new additions and all of the newer models, really the design of Kanilea is to be able to offer through Islander and Kanilea yeah. the right instrument for the right player. Awesome, perfect, yeah. perfect. Well, thank you so much, Joe. Thanks for talking with us. You're Is there very anything welcome. else you want to say to Ukulele Underground? Aloha Ukulele Underground. Once again, Kanilea Ukulele. You can visit us at www.kanileaukulele.com where we have our design your own custom ukulele on our website. You got to check that out. Also, if you can remember, as Kanilea, we are literally carbon neutral, forest friendly. And that is our whole line of ukuleles. Literally doing what we feel is right. So. Perfect. Check them out, guys. Kanilea ukulele.com. This is Aldrin Garofa, Ukulele on the Ground. Aloha. Hello.